What a great movie. I heard you haven't seen it. I haven't seen the finished, finished version. So okay. you guys are like one step ahead of me. Well, I don't know if you should. If you have heart issues, really? you probably <laughs> should Maybe I should just it. opt out. <laughs> just don't go see it. <laughs> that scene when you're crawling through the air vent. Yeah. I'm so claustrophobic it was hard to watch. How is it filming? You know, I have never considered myself a claustrophobic person, but there were moments, there were moments in there because they made it too small for me on purpose uh -huh. to make it really difficult so that it wouldn't look like I was acting, you right. know? And there were moments where I really was like, guys, I'm stuck. Like, I can't, I can't do this. And you can't really tell in the movie, but it is, it goes kind of a long ways for quite a ways, mm -hmm. and then it goes straight up. I don't know how you did that And that's part. the only way to get out, is to climb straight up out of the thing. And there was no footholds, there's no ladder in there. It was literally just, a, okay, how do I do this? And each take, it was like a new puzzle to figure out, okay, I've got to wedge my knee in here and my elbow in here <laughs> and sort of shimmy up. It was... You oof. must have been sweating to death. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was exhausting. It was... <laughs> Another scene in the movie when you have the marshmallow sandwich. Yes. <laughs> okay, we all do gross combinations. Do you have a favorite or is that it? Well, I had never had it up until on this set and it was actually kind of an offset joke that made its way into the movie because Dan, the director, was really into fluffernutters, which... I I had never heard of before, right. and he was just so shocked that I had never had a fluffernutter sandwich that they became this thing where craft service was passing out fluffernutter <laughs> sandwiches every day. You get a fluffernutter, and you yeah, get a fluffernutter. Yeah, it was just like the theme of the set was <laughs> the fluffernutter. <laughs> um, I'm dying. I have to tell you, it's about time we have a female that kicks so much ass right. like she does. For yeah. somebody that ran away from all of her problems. Right. She just faces everything yeah. head on. Is that one of the things? It had to be what I know you're a strong woman. It had to be one of the reasons yeah. why you wanted this. It definitely was what drew me to the film in a, in a big way. I just love the fact that she comes into the film as being smart and strong. You know, she doesn't have to sort of start out as this weak, fragile flower in order to gain her strength and, and make it in the end. She's really, from the very beginning, she's just using whatever she has to get out of there. And she's thinking and she's finding out clever ways to, to make things work. and. I just thought it would be so cool. It's sort of like a female MacGyver. You yeah, know? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah, which we've never seen. I was like, seen. it's Ripley meets MacGyver. MacGyver it totally, was awesome. Totally. Yeah. Um, and I was thought that was just such a cool opportunity to, to play somebody who's got that those kind of skills. You yeah, know? for sure. It's like you just kept getting thrust forward and passing every test. It was yes. pretty cool. Everybody is going to love this film. Oh, I hope you so. You did a great job. Thank you so much. And possibly much. a sequel, I guess, hey. to Houston. Hey, You're I'm, right. you know, I'm open. We'll see what happens. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank for you real. so much. We need more women oh, like you, Thank you. Thank you. So much.